All right, guys, I was at Harbor Freight Tools getting some other stuff. Um, I'm just doing some projects at home. And I walked by the paint section and I saw these. And I'm going to tell you guys, I was kind of like, at first, I was like, oh, Lord, Harbor Freight. How can they make a decent brush? Um, I haven't yet to use it, but I know from many years of experience from looking at a brush, whether it's going to be a decent brush or not. And I'm going to tell you, this one is not terrible. Check this out. So they gave you this Avanti. Isn't that funny? They always make these new names, you know, for stuff. Now, the first thing I noticed is I think, you guys tell me, is that stainless steel? I think it is. Look at it. Looks like stainless steel to me. See the lines in it? The brush stainless steel? I think it's stainless steel. Let's see what it says on the on the on the, the box. Oh well, there it is. It says number one, high grip, handle, whatever, wood, hardwood. And it's it's not, it's kind of a balsa feel a little bit, kind of a cheaper wood. Not as good as some of the better brushes, but it's not that bad. I got it out of the teeth. I was like pretty kind of impressed. Um, but if you read here, it says, you know, sand and hardwood handle, nailed high strength stainless steel. See, I, I just know by looking at stuff, guys. I didn't even read all this stuff yet. High capacity paint reservoir, whatever. I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, ultra smooth tapered bristles. Now, it's, you know, so the t bristles are a little bit tapered. They looks like they have some sort of a kind of a flag in to them. Not a great flag in. I mean, this is not going to be a brush that you're going to use to replace your Purdy or your, um, my favorite again is Corona Chinex uh, or a Chinex bristle brush. You know, if you're doing high volume of painting, a ton of it, if you're like putting on, you know, if you're a professional and you're doing just tons and tons of paint jobs, this is not going to be a brush that's going to replace one of those good brushes. But if you've got a new guy and he's terrible with a brush, this is great for him. Or you've got a guy who just, every time you give him a brush, he just, it just destroyed at the end of the day. These are $5.69 for a three inch straight brush. They had a two and a half inch angle. I think it was less than $5. Um, you know, for that price, let's take a look. You know, for that price, these, I think, are worth having on the truck. Now, do I think that they're going to lose some hairs? You know, probably. I mean, gee, what do you expect for $5? I mean, let's say you use it for a few jobs and you have to toss it. You're way ahead. I mean, what's the cheapest brush at Home Depot? I think a decent brush that's anything near this is going to be about $15. So, you know, for 5 bucks. You know, and you see it's a little splayed. You notice how it kind of goes out a little bit. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit splayed when you paint with it. You know, versus one that's really good, but it's tight together. So, you know, not bad, though. I'm going to tell you, you could probably get a paint job done with this. I mean, if you're a homeowner and you were going to do something, you're looking for the cheapest brush at Home Depot, I would just go away from Home Depot and go right over Harbor Freight and grab one of these. This would not be bad. I'm going to tell you, you're going to be able to paint stuff with this. It's pretty stiff. You guys who are painters, it is fairly stiff. It's stiff enough. I don't know what it's like when you get it wet with paint, but it does feel like a nice spring stiffness to it. It's not going to be, like I said, it's not going to replace any of your good brushes, but it is kind of cool to have an inexpensive brush that, you know, because I do a lot of smaller jobs. Let's say you're just doing one bathroom. You might lose about three minutes of man hours on using this one versus using another brush. On that, it'd be worth using. Um, if you were doing a whole, you know, like big, you know, huge job where you're putting in five, six days, like I said, it'd be better off getting the better brush, like a Corona China X or whatever your favorite one is. The uh, Another one I really like is the, uh, that's cheap, is the uh, Proform has one called, I'm trying to think, it comes in, it's kind of gold looking. Maybe somebody will comment that one below. I'm trying to think of the name of it. Hmm. It's kind of gold looking. Really great brush. Not bad for the money. Um, 
And that's another nice, good, holds a lot of paint, releases well. You know, this really nice brush and it has a really fine bristle um, for doing really nice work. I and mean, if you're doing really custom stuff, you're trying to make stuff look really smooth, um, that would be good. This again is going to be for water-based paint. They did have a china bristle. Yeah, it wasn't liking that one. This wouldn't be bad though for water base. You guys, check it out. Harbor Freight, man. I can't believe it. they've been coming out with some really cool stuff lately. And some of their Bauer tools, I have some of their um, some of the name brand stuff that they're making their own name. You know, the Earthquake, the new Earthquake stuff is pretty damn good stuff. It's not bad. So these are five dollars and sixty nine cents. When's the last time you saw a brush for that price? Talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you make your comment. Thanks for watching.